Let's talk about St George's Day because you, I'm delighted you've come out all guns blazing. Yeah, I always do. More I know. patriotic town in... Even though St George, as you know, never is from Turkey. Yeah. It's no, from Turkey. I know. I know. And, and never slayed a dragon, as far as we knew. No. Yeah. no. But, but why is it important that we celebrate it, Andrea? Well, do you know, I mean, um, the Welsh celebrate... They do. The, you know, the Irish celebrate, the Scots celebrate, and we don't do enough of it in this I country. Agree. The thing is, it's regarded now, isn't it? If you're I, patriotic, I, it's regarded oh as racist gosh. now, oh, and that's exactly. And let's look at the Labour Party. Yeah. Um, look at M Emily Thornbury, look at some of their councillors. Who... Remember, remember Thornbury? I know, In exactly. 2014. She and mocked the, 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 the guy who had the flag of St George house, yes. outside their house yes. when England were playing a football yeah. match. Oh, absolutely. And, and she's now in the shadow cabinet. I know, exactly. And so I think that, you know, the arch Europhile, which is Keir Starmer, to suddenly be Mr St George, it's so disingenuous. I know, he's put a, he we, put a film out today, he's almost draped himself oh in the flag God. of St can George. We, can we just read out Andrea's tweet here this morning? Yeah, you went yeah. right in there, she says, People see through your fake patriotism, Mr Flip Floppy Keir Starmer, <laughs> but the Red Wall will not forget how you tried to stop Brexit or how some of your MPs and councillors have looked down on those who celebrate St George and all the disingenuous. I think he read that and then put that film out, because that film was not... On, I know. On it, so I tagged him in as well. It, it, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. It, interesting on Brexit because you mentioned that. Um, I was shocked to read in the, one of the polls last week, Ashcroft's poll, Lord Ashcroft's poll. Andrew, the Tories are not even trusted on Brexit anymore. No, Labour Party are trusted no. more on Brexit yeah. than the Tories, even though Sir Keir Starmer was the architect mm. of the second oh referendum gosh, plan exactly. as, the, as well, Corbyn's Brexit. Well, the candidate standing against me, he stood in Harrogate and wanted a second referendum yeah. in a Brexit mm. seat. Yeah. yeah. But, but how did the Tories lose the faith and the trust of the people on an issue? I, I mean, I think we need a major cabinet reshuffle. Get some, um, you know, some strength in there, some yeah. experience, some Brexiteers in there. Are you applying some, for a job here, right... Andrea? Are you applying? Um, look, I, I, You're I, available. I, I, look, I, I'm not a person that I'm too outspoken. I would, would never get chosen. But we, we need some real experience in there. Um, set our stall out. Show the Conservatives uniting into this election. And actually be more conservative. We need to be tough on crime. <laughs> we need to be low tax, um, small state conservatives, curb the spending. And we, we can't have this two tier. But why, system. why do people trust Starmer on, on Brexit? He has already said oh. he would be thinking about looking into taking us back into the single market. And he said, I think it was last year, he said that we were not taking our fair share of migrants. Mm -hmm. And he would no. put that right. I, I mean, I mean, no, exactly. it would be open all hours. Yes. I, I, I think that people are just, um, frustrated and peed off with politicians for mm. the stop. And I yeah. mean, I don't get the appetite actually for um, Labour on the doorstep. I get a third Conservative, third Labour, and it's the rest, you know, the well, 40% that, really? are well, undecided. Yeah, well, that poll actually yes. last week did say that 40, even though the Labour yes. were miles ahead, 45% of them said Didn't we don't want him, there's no stomach room. Exactly. Can I ask, do you think the Prime Minister should have said, called in the Metropolitan Police Commission said, I'm sorry, mate, you've had a chance to sort this policing out in, in, oh in, in the world's most in capital city. What happened to Gideon Fulter was appalling. Oh, and, he's, and he hasn't even met with him, Sir Mark Road. He hasn't even met with Gideon Fulter. Should he be out of a job? Um, I think completely, but I want to see Carr now, don't you? <laughs> Another matter. But, Another but it's, matter. it's interesting that, uh, yeah. that, that we hear this morning that Rowley is actually supporting the officer who said that, who said to, to the gentleman, you're getting involved, you're openly Jewish. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, you know, he's, I mean, I he's already people Because um, I've come out in support of Israel, because I don't forget what happened in October. You know, Good. Pregnant Lots women and yeah, people yeah. have ripped out their stomach. It, yeah. It's barbaric. And, and still I, many hostages, Andrea, oh, in Gaza. I, I mean, look at the awful email I got, um, which was Pro Hamas a few weeks ago, and people's graffitied, you know, one of my signs on my office from the rivers to the seas. Have they um, really? Disgusting. And absolutely pro Palestine. These people need locking up, I'm afraid. Yeah. And would, would, would you stop the marches? Um, I, I would. We've had them for every Wait, week for six example? months. Yeah. I was really, really angry last Wednesday. Um, Parliament Square. Um, four white vans um, stopped on Parliament Square. Um, all these pro-Palestinian lobby jumped out. They had all this equipment. They stopped the traffic at peak five o'clock peak time. Mm. And the police just stood around. I I'm know. sorry, but, but we should not allow any kind of march where it stops people going about their everyday lives. But yeah. doing that, they must have been told from the top to do that, Andrew. That's the, that's oh, the point. Oh, completely. Anyway, thank you very much, Andrew. And Drenkins. happy St George's Day. Happy St George's Day.